Do you guys want to see a Smallville comic book that I have from 2002 that has an original advertisement inside it for Firefly? Let's take a look. Yeah, somebody mentioned that today is the 21st anniversary of Firefly series premiere. And that reminded me of this Smallville comic that I had because I was a complete Smallville consumer back in the day. Uh, you know, it was appointment viewing for me when I was 17. And then, you know, they released a comic. The comic, whoa, there was a Birds of Prey TV show. Didn't last very long. Smallville, like a typical WBCW show, was just hot people with drama. They had a comic story here that was about some guy who... Uh, Gets cut by kryptonite at a fossil dig in Kansas and becomes a raptor. Clark has to go fight him. Typical freak of the week stuff. Oh my gosh, this is such a throwback with some of these ads. Uh, guy's abused by his mean dad or something and he turns into dinosaur. Sega. Sega advertisements, you guys. Uh, Chloe's following up on the case, drawing Lana. Clark sees the dinosaur dude with x-ray vision. Um, you know, you're not technically supposed to show an entire comic on YouTube, but this one's been out of print since forever. But yeah, from the critically acclaimed, acclaimed creator of Buffy the Vampire Slater. And there was even like an actual firefly in the logo. Buffy happened like... Well, no, what am I saying? Firefly happened within the <laughs> the bumpers of Buffy, like 14, 15 episodes, and that was it. So, yeah, Raptor dude, Clark fights him, he dies. I mean, the art's not bad. Oh, my gosh, so many ads in this thing. PlayStation 2, Gundam models. My word, it's like a time capsule. There was a second comic here about Lex. The art was different not as good anyway uh, then you get to the end and there's you know interviews and stuff with uh, some of the actors and there this was in between season one and season two so they were they were hyping up season two with the comic uh, kind of like one or two of the last CW stars like Tom Welling didn't have a whole lot of, or maybe any, acting experience before this. They hired him because he was an Abercrombie model. So, Clark can't role model. No, just just model. You know, he kind of learned acting on the job. He and Rosenbaum have been doing a rewatch podcast called Talkville. And the behind-the-scenes, you know, insights and stuff into the show have been entertaining. And, you know, for fans of it, it's it's good stuff. But... Yeah, I kept that in a scrapbook that I had somewhere in my house, and every once in a while I dig it out, and I, was, I get as much amusement out of that one-page Firefly ad as I do from the fact that it's just this, this glimpse to what the early 2000s were like. Anyway, happy Unification Day, I guess, as the brown coats call it. 21 years since it started, and in three months it'll be 21 years since it ended. I maintain that cancellation was kind of the best thing to happen to Firefly because it was a very good show right out the gate, and it didn't last long enough for it to uh, dwindle and lose some of its fandom and maybe overstay its welcome. Uh, I think that you know, with the unjust nature of the cancellation, that turned it into an early cultural meme, and that kind of gave... It gave it some tragic weight that made people more sympathetic to it. You know, even without that, it's still very good, and I still dig out my discs and watch it every once in a while. Uh, but it works well as a miniseries that was then capped off with a movie. I know they followed it up with novels and comic books and stuff. Um, after reading a couple of those comics, it's you know my verdict that there's almost too much of it now, and. Uh, you know, over-defining it with the stories from the comics, um, you know, kind of takes away from the the mystique and the charm of the fact that it was this small, successful thing, and it exists as a limited run. What do I have up there? I have a, a, a drawing that I did from a couple of years ago. Bane and Batmal. Anyway, that's my two cents on that. Let me know what you guys think. Till next time, drive safe. See you out there.